Factsverse presents This is what that hole is actually for. You've probably had plenty of items around the house that you find useful, but you could be using them wrong. If you knew the right way to use those items or a better way to use them, you might be shocked. Here are some household items with a surprisingly useful purpose. The little buttons on jeans. You ever wondered why your jeans have little buttons on them like that? Well, they're not actually buttons. They are rivets. Jean manufacturers put them on jeans to strengthen weak points. They're essential so that the jeans don't wear out quickly. Colored squares on toothpaste tubes. Many people believe that the colored squares on the toothpaste tube indicate the ingredients, but that's not true. The markings have nothing to do with what the toothpaste contains. They are eye marks. It tells the machines where to cut the tubes. If you want to know the ingredients of your toothpaste, don't worry about colored boxes. Just read the ingredients. They're right there on the tube. The Metal Bit on Tape Measures Tape measures have a little metal bit at the very end. You might find that annoying, but you won't when you find out what it's for. The bit makes it easy to mark the wall before hanging something. It also wiggles back and forth, which compensates for the width of a metal hook. The Tab on a Soda Can Soda tabs have a large hole in them for a good reason. If you try to put a straw in your soda can, the carbonation will often push it out. That's kind of frustrating. Funny, but frustrating. If you turn the tab around, though, you can put your straw through that hole and it'll keep your straw in the can. I like to turn the soda tab a bit with the straw inside. It actually presses against the can and makes for a tighter grip. The Hole in Pot and Pan Handles Many people believe the hole in a pot and pan handle is to hang them on the wall. Well, yeah, they can be used for that. The hole has another purpose, though. When you're cooking, you can put the spoon in the hole and you won't have to worry about food getting onto the stove. That's what that hole is actually for. Chinese Takeout Box You've been eating Chinese takeout for years and you might not even know what that box is really for. Yes, it's there to bring the Chinese food home, I know, duh, but if you unfold that takeout box, it also becomes a plate. Just be sure you're going to finish all the food from the box because you're not going to be able to fold it back into a takeout box when you're done eating. Extra Piece of Cloth Certain articles of clothes come with a small piece of fabric and an extra button. Many people believe the material is a patch, but it's not. It's designed to be a test subject, to see how the color will stand up in the washing machine. That prevents you from ruining the entire garment while washing it. The Zigzag on a Bobby Pin Bobby pins have a smooth side and a wavy side. The wavy side is designed to keep large pieces of hair in place. Whether you put the wavy side up or down actually doesn't matter. The pattern will hold your hair either way. It's just your choice as to what you think looks better. The Wings on Appliance Cords If your phone charger has little wings on the end, well, you might want to understand the purpose for that. They allow you to wrap the wire up when traveling, so you don't have to worry about untangling it. Just don't wrap it too tight because that can damage the cord. The Holes on the Side of Sneakers most people think that the holes in the side of sneakers are there to allow air to flow through the shoe. And while they do allow that, they have another purpose. The style started as a basketball shoe, so the holes are there to use alternating lacing techniques. The Little Patch on Backpacks Many backpacks have little patches that kind of look like a pig's snout. The patches are not there for design purposes, obviously, because really, who ever wants to look more like a pig? You can stick cords, though, into that patch and string through the hole to carry more things with you. The Little Hole in a Pen Cap Many people believe that the hole in the pen cap gives it some air. The hole is actually a safety thing. People chew on their pen caps often, and if a person were to inhale the cap accidentally, it could create a choking hazard. The hole is there so that you can still get air. The Raised Bump on the F and J Keys the raised bumps on these keys on your keyboard are there so that you can find the home position without needing to look at the keys. This can get you back into typing quickly because you won't have to look down. It's especially helpful for those who are blind. Brass Doorknobs You ever wondered why brass doorknobs are so popular? It's not really for aesthetic purposes. Brass is more resistant to bacteria buildup than other materials. They're not entirely germ-free, of course, but they will help prevent the spread of germs a lot better. The arrow on a gas gauge You ever notice that little arrow next to the gas icon on the gas gauge? It has a good purpose. Whichever side the arrow is pointing to, that's the side the gas tank is on. 
It's really helpful to know this if you buy a new car, if you're borrowing a friend's car, if you're using a rental, or if you're just a forgetful person. The plastic disc in a soda bottle cap. People love to pull the disc from the cap of a soda bottle. If you want to keep your soda from going flat, leave the disc where it is. It's designed to trap carbon dioxide in the bottle so that the soda doesn't lose its fizz. Holes in a pasta spoon. The hole in the pasta spoon does more than just drain water when you check your spaghetti. The hole can also help you measure one portion of pasta if you're eating by yourself. If you're serving four people, you can fill the hole four times with pasta to be sure that you have enough, but not too much. There is a tiny hole at the bottom of a padlock, and it has a beneficial purpose. It will drain any water or dirt that gets into the lock. You can also use it to squirt lubricant into the lock if it gets stuck. The thick part on cables. Remember when you could hear your cell phone going off if it got too close to a speaker? The thick parts were put on cables to keep that from happening. Inside the thick part are chunks of magnetic ion oxide that prevent that kind of interference. The flaps on a juice box. When little kids hold their juice box, they'll often squeeze too hard, and that results in the juice coming out of the straw. If you pull the flaps on the box up, it'll be like a little handle for hands to hold. You won't have to worry so much about juice box spills. The number on cosmetics bottles. On the back of your makeup bottle or container, there is a number. It could be 3M, 6M, or 12M. Well, that number indicates the number of months you can keep your makeup after you've opened it. If your makeup is older than, for example, 3 months, 6 months, or 12 months, depending on what your product says, you'll want to throw it out. The loop on the back of a dress shirt. Many dress shirts have a small loop on the back. It's not there for decoration, it's there to keep the shirt from wrinkling if you take the shirt off or you run out of hangers. The number on the bottom of a plastic container. On the bottom of plastic containers, there is a number inside of a triangle. The numbers indicate the type of plastic used and to let you know how safe it is. The safest plastics are 2, 4, and 5. 1 and 7 have toxic materials and should only be used once. 3 and 6 should be avoided at all costs. The ridges on box cutter blades. Box cutter blades have little score lines. When the blade gets dull, you can snap it off at the line and you'll suddenly have a fresh, sharp blade. Most people don't know this and they'll throw the box cutter away sooner than they have to. The small indention on a Tic Tac container. There is a small indention on the lid of a Tic Tac container. It allows you to dispense one Tic Tac at a time rather than a whole handful. That way you do have options, but come on, let's face it, who eats Tic Tacs only one at a time? The blue side of an eraser. Many people think the blue side of the eraser is to erase pen. Well, that's not true. It's actually more abrasive than the pink side and that makes it better to use on different types of paper. This explains why the ink smears when you try to erase it, because unless you have an erasable ink pen, you can't erase ink. You're just making a mess. The indentation at the bottom of a champagne bottle. You ever notice that there is an indentation at the bottom of a champagne bottle? Well, it's there to compensate for the pressure that the bottle goes through before corking. The sides and the base are weak, and the indentation helps to distribute the pressure evenly so the bottle doesn't explode. The tab on a rear view mirror. There is a little tab on your rear view mirror and it's a safety feature. If there's a car behind you and the lights are blinding you, you can flip that tab. It will redirect the light from your eyes but still allow you to see the vehicles behind you. The pom-pom on a stocking cap. Today, pom-poms are used for decorative purposes only, but that didn't always used to be the case. Back in the 18th century, French Marines wore hats with pom-poms to protect themselves against low ceilings in ship cabins. They were also used to distinguish which branch of the military the soldier was in. Subscribe for more!